Well, I just got home from work and I thought I would do a quick video um, because I haven't done one in ages and I said I was going to do it because I want to keep them coming uh, and this is about the brush garage. Now I'm not going to do a how I clean my makeup uh, makeup brushes video because it's essentially going to be the same as the one Michelle Fan just did and um, I'll put a link to hers in the sidebar because that's how I clean mine too. And um, but also, that's where I learned about the brush guard, so you'll also see it in her video, the brush guard. I have since purchased my own set, um, so here it is. What the brush guard is, is um, a special guard, I'll just try and get this one, let them over here. Okay. It's a special guard to put over your makeup brushes um, to protect them, and uh, specifically after cleaning to help them help them dry and it's got to be the best um, I guess the best thing I've bought all year for my makeup or, or skincare um, you get something that looks a bit like this it looks like one of those uh, Chinese finger traps and um, they're such a good price for um, a set uh, in the small I'm not sure exactly how many I will put a link to the website um, but for a set of um, Five, I think like this which is like a medium um, size it was $5.50 in fact they're all $5.50 um, they're from the US so you have to pay for postage which is only $3 and it took about 10 business days to get here so I mean it's such a good price you don't have to wait very long and there's there's just nothing else out there so they work like this I use Chanel um, makeup brushes so um, something like this um, your foundation brush um, nice and clean I just, just did mine the other day um, and so after um, cleaning your brushes um, there's a lot of water um, like in here I keep saying um sorry about that um, so you don't want to dry them upright because the water is going to run down here and get in amongst the glue um, and the bottom of the brushes and it's actually going to cause the hairs to fall out and when you're paying sort of 70 or 80 dollars for a brush if not more really don't want that to happen so you simply push the brush guard on at the end all the way over the bristles and then to dry I don't have a glass to show you but a, a simple water glass and uh, you just stand it up in a glass like so and then that way the actual water is going to run at the end of the brush and save um, those precious bristles there's a range of different sizes I mean you've got a little tiny one here for um, this is my concealer brush and that'll go over there uh, they're also good for protecting uh, the label and the number on your brush I actually put a bit of clear nail polish on there a lot of people do uh, but it also protects it while you're using the brush so uh, while you're using it you hold the brush guard and it's protecting the brush as well it's also great for storage so now um, I can sort of worry less about my brushes. I store them in one of these sort of oh, one of these little caddies. Um, they can all sit there jumbling around, and you don't have to worry about the bristles. Uh, so you've got a big powder brush like this. The worst thing you want is you know bristles pointing this way and pointing that way. So the brush guard is going to get it to dry in that perfect sort of shape, and you just break it up a little bit when you want to use it. So that is the brush guard. I'll put all the links in the sidebars to the brush guard and Michelle Fan's video. Best thing I've bought like all year and hardly an investment because they're so cheap. Um, I really, really recommend it if you've got good makeup brushes uh, or even if you just love the ones you have and want to protect them. So, big fan of the brush guard and um, hope you all are too. After you get some very cheap ships to Australia, order over the internet, use your credit card or your debit card. Very easy, best purchase I've made all year. Okay, see you next time.